In today's video, I will show you how to uh, style this radio box in Elementor Forms and CSS uh, using Font Awesome. Let's say that you want to create some kind of custom boxes here and uh, where you want to use uh, some icons uh, that are available in the, if you know, if you're familiar with it, with Font Awesome, which is basically a font that you can use on website using Unicode formats and it will actually create some kind of uh, pre-made uh, icons. So we're not talking about uh, using custom icons here that for example you designed and you uploaded to your website as SVG but to um, replace uh, these default uh, radio boxes with, with font awesome symbols. So let's start. I have my Elementor form here that I've called, uh, I've signed uh, a CSS class called Upload Form, and I have this basic uh, radio box. Now, if I go to my CSS and I'm using simple custom CSS and JavaScript plugin that you can find the link for in the description of this video, I will first start by removing the default, uh, the default boxes here for my radio field. So I will type Upload Form and then Elementor field option, input type will be radio, and then display none. And uh, now the next step would be uh, to actually assign a before pseudo element to my labels that will replace this default uh, default radio boxes or these circles. So if I click on update and refresh my page, you can see that we have now removed these default circles. Now we want to place something there instead of them. So in order to do this, I will type upload form and then Elementor field option input. And then I want to add a before pseudo element before my label. So I will type the label before and then the content for this pseudo, uh, pseudo element would be actually an um, an empty uh, an empty basically non-breaking space and the code for this is 0080 that i will type here and now since we are using uh, the the font awesome uh, for the icons or as these pseudo elements, uh, I will actually define font awesome also for this unchecked field, just to keep consistency to make sure that they are properly aligned with my labels. So even though we are not using font awesome actually for this blank content, I will type here font family and font awesome. Then display will be inline block. The width and height for my circle would be, let's say, 20 pixels that I will define here. Border radius would be 50% because that will create our circle. And the border for my circle would be something like 2 pixels, solid blue, but you can add any hex code here for any color you want. And I will also define a font size to be, let's say, 14 pixels and line height also to something like 17 pixels, but you can actually play with these values to make sure that items are properly aligned. And I will also add a slight margin on the right side just to create some space between my box and the label. Now let's click on update and refresh our page. So you can see that we have created now these boxes. Now, uh, if you watched my previous video, let's add also a little bit of spacing between these rows here, between these uh, individual uh, fields. So I will type upload form Elementor field option and margin bottom would be something like two pixels. Now let's see how to style our boxes uh, and how they look like when we click on them. So I will add uh, my font awesome check mark uh, so I want this box to look something like this when I click on it so in order to do that uh, let's go back to our code and I will type here upload form and then again elementor field option input but now I want to style only the checked state of my box so in this previous code we've styled uh, this box or the circle 
whether it is checked or unchecked. Now we are styling only the checked, um, checked state of it. And then I will also add this label and before pseudo element. And this before pseudo element will now have the content of actually a check mark. And this check mark uh, will actually have the Unicode format F00C. And I also want this to be the blue color so that it matches our circle. Click on update. If we refresh our page, let's see, this is our empty box. And if I click on it, then you can see that we have this check mark from Fantasm library. Now let's see uh, how we could achieve uh, this same effect, but using some custom icon. So instead of this font awesome icon, uh, let's say that I want to use a, a custom icon that maybe you've designed and uploaded as SVG to your website. So in order to do this, I will still use this uh, checked state of my uh, box. Instead of this content right here, where we put the font awesome Unicode format, let me just delete this color for now, and this content actually I will leave blank. Actually, I can uh, just copy this bit of code here that will create a blank space. And uh, how I will achieve uh, a custom icon, in my case, is using a background image. Now, you could also place the URL here in the content section of your before pseudo element, but I prefer to do it through background image because it gives you a little bit more flexibility on the size, positioning, and so on. So I will type here background image and URL, and then I will paste the URL to my SVG icon. Uh, in my case, that icon is this. And then I want to set background repeat to no repeat. Background size would be cover. Now what cover does is that it simply fits my image, my background image into the container. So I will just set this to cover. And uh, I think the remaining things are more or less done. Uh, I'm pretty sure that my icon here is uh, white, so I also want to set the background color so that I can see my icon. And I will use the same blue color that I've used for the stroke. And uh, let's click on update and see how this looks like. I'll refresh my page. And uh, you can see this is how it looks like. So I've had a simple custom icon that I've added here and uh, I've set this as a background image. Now this can be anything you want. I would just suggest exporting this SVG icon as um, close to the format that you would be needing it. So it should be something let's say square. Um, it doesn't have to be the exact size uh, but it should be square or circular if you're using square or circles for your radio box. Let's try to add a different icon. Uh, for example, I have this checkmark SVG icon here. I will just copy URL to clipboard. And then in my code, I will replace this uh, URL to this either icon, other icon. Now I don't need background color blue because this icon is black. Let's click on update and refresh our page. And now you can see how this looks like. You can play around with the background size. You do not have to set it to uh, cover. You can set also pixel sizes. And in my case, the icon that I uploaded is uh, black. So let's maybe change our border also to black. And this is how it looks like. You can add any custom icon that you want. So that's it. I hope you like this video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe.